Alright guys, here we go. <clears throat> Welcome, thank you for watching. It's my first YouTube video, so we'll see how it goes. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, the Xbox is acting up right now. Um, this is going to be a tour of my 55 gallon saltwater fish tank. Um, I've been in the fish tanks for a while. It's the first time I've done saltwater. <clears throat> set it up a few days ago um I know it's dark I wanted to it's four o'clock in the morning so I wanted to kind of get uh, let y'all see what it looks like with the lights on you can see it better in the dark that's the actinic and the 10k it's a core light LED flip the switch and you can see the actinic Um, it's a little cloudy. I just added the live sand yet and the uh, dry rock yesterday, so it's still a little cloudy. Um, it's actually cleared up pretty nice. Um, it's kind of a budget tank. Um, most of the stuff I've got, I've either done myself or got it on Amazon. Um, here, I'm going to turn the lights on so you guys can see. The stand I built myself, some plywood from Home Depot, 2x4s, stuff like that. <clears throat> it's a 55 gallon. I've got two power heads in there. Um, I think they're Sun Sun brand, something like that. Uh, they're supposed to be like 800 gallons per minute each. Um, they circulate pretty good. I mean, this, they're not pointed towards the top of the water or anything, but they're breaking the water pretty good. Um, yeah, that's 40 pounds of dry rock. I've got another 25 pounds of live rock coming in the mail tomorrow from Amazon. Um, got a couple of, like sand dollars and seashells and stuff. My son's first time at the beach, we collected those, so... He thought it'd be pretty cool to put those in there. Um, the overflow, it's a little scratched up. <clears throat> but I made that myself. Doesn't look great, but it does the job. Um, the return, it's all one inch piping. And then down below, it's not pretty, don't judge me. Like I said, it's my first salt water, so I'm just kinda playing around, see what happens. Got a uh, Sun Sun canister filter. Uh, I think that's around like, I wanna say 180 gallons an hour, something like that. Protein skimmer. Um, I don't have any dividers in here in this sump. Um, it's just all open. I've got some bio balls I'm going to add in there and an aerator to kind of get everything circulating because you can see there's stuff settled at the bottom. It's my return pump. It goes up. I've just got the one re return because what I did was with the canister filter, you can see I've got both the pickup and the return in the sump here. Pick up stuff. I've got my heater in the bottom. Um, I'm at about, I think it's about 78 degrees, something like that. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, 78 and a half degrees. That's what I'm running the tank at. Um, which I've got a thermostat down there. And if this will focus. It's about 76, 75 in the main display. So not too bad. Um, of course my thermometer's pretty close to the heater down here, so it's gonna be a little warmer in the sun. Um, 
any suggestions or comments let me know I'd love to have some advice from you guys anybody that's been doing this for a while like I said it's my first salt water um, anything you guys would like to add let me know appreciate you guys watching thanks